Hello there, my name is Musa the Giant from Devon, South Africa. In this video, I would like to show you how do I go about doing a basic research before investing in any crypto asset. You might uh, follow along and you might also want maybe to um, do your own research before you invest in any crypto asset, right? So um, here is, is what we're going to be covering. So this tool that we're going to be using to do this basic research, we're going to be using CoinGecko.com. So just go to CoinGecko.com and register and create an account. It's very easy to do that. Once you are there, what you're going to be doing is you want to check the price of the coin or token you are uh, researching. You want to check the trading volume within the last 24 hours. At least it should have a minimum of $100,000 within the last 24 hours. That's what I'm looking for. You might be looking something for something different, but my recommendation is this minimum volume. Check the maximum, the total and the circulating supply of the token. If it has a less supply or it, it has a deflationary supply that is even much better. Check the all time high and the all time low prices of that uh, particular token or crypto you are researching you need to check which exchanges is it is it listed on uh, is it already listed on big exchanges yet if it's not are there any chances that it can be listed on big exchanges like Binance uh, because you want to buy before it get listed if it's already listed what are the chances that it can still grow bigger all right check the price action within the last 24 hours within the last seven days or 30 days etc to see if it's consistent uh, visit the project website check their website learn more about the project what is it that they are doing uh, the roadmap and stuff like that what is the purpose of the project in other words what problem are they trying to solve or improve upon on the um, marketplace who is behind the project you want to see the team that is behind the project are they uh, visible or they decided to remain anonymous check the project roadmap if any so you want to see what is it that they have done already what are they currently doing and what are they planning to do in the near future check the project social media pages how active are they the number of followers and the number of uh, YouTube channels, if they do have a YouTube channel, check their Facebook page and so on and so forth. Who else have invested in this project? Are there any big investors, big institutions um, who have invested in this project or not? Are there any big partnerships that they already have? Check all of those things. And one last thing, or it's not necessarily one last thing, but another thing that you might want to check is when you buy this token or cryptocurrency, are you going to be able to stake? Is it a stakeable cryptocurrency or not? Are you going to be able to yield farm it? Because if you can, then uh, that's another bonus because now it means that you can buy a certain number of tokens and then you can just stake them and earn more free tokens. So these are just some of the things that you want to do to when you are doing uh, just a basic research about a project before you actually decide whether to buy it or not. So now let's go live on CoinGecko and take a look at all of these things which are so on the screen. Okay, we are now on CoinGecko.com. Now remember that uh, the first thing you want to do is to register and create your account on CoinGecko. In my case, I'm already signed in to my CoinGecko account. But if you do not have a CoinGecko account yet, what you want to do is just uh, click on sign up and then just enter your email address and password and agree to the terms and conditions and then indicate that you are not a robot and just click on sign up. This is just so that you can be able to uh, save or store some uh, information so that you can easily see what you might have uh, stored like your favorite, the list of, the, of your favorite tokens or cryptocurrencies that you might be interested in. But um, this is not an account that you're going to be investing in. This is just a research tool, as I indicated, right? So now remember that the first thing that we want to check is the price of the token that we are interested in. If you click on the search box here, the first thing that you're going to see is the list of the trending uh, cryptocurrencies. Like, for instance, 
uh, today uh, astro swap is at the top so when you click on that you're going to be able to see first of all you're going to be able to see the price of the token you are interested in or you might be interested in um in this case it is around about 22 cents right and then remember that you also want to check the trading volume in the last 24 hours so here is the trading volume um for this one it's over 14 million within the last 24 hours so the volume is there so it's, it's way above uh, a minimum of 100,000 within the last 24 hours all right and then you want to check the maximum the total and circulating supply so here is the maximum supply the maximum supply means that uh the tokens in this case the astro tokens will never be a uh, minted above 100 i mean 10 billion this is 10 billion tokens this is the maximum they will never be more than 10 billion um in this case astro tokens that will ever be minted now the total supply currently is 240 million and in circulation these 240 40 million is already in circulation as well so in other words of the total i mean uh, out of uh, a maximum of 10 billion uh, tokens um the total supply is 240 million and these 200 million is already in circulation right so in other words they're going to be releasing the the, the 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 balance of the remaining tokens from the maximum supply maybe through staking and stuff like that over time so we know the maximum supply, we know the total supply, and we know the circulating supply. Now, these question marks also indicate that you can just hover your mouse pointer over these question mark buttons to learn more and understand exactly what is meant by maximum supply, what is meant by total supply, and what is meant by uh, circulating supply, right? And uh, the next thing that you want to check, you want to check the all-time high and the all-time low price and statistics, all right? But before we check that, we have the info section here, which shows us the contact address of this particular cryptocurrency. So uh, if you wanted to add it to your MetaMask wallet, in my case, this is my MetaMask wallet. If you um, haven't used MetaMask wallet before, you want to learn how it works, please check out my video where I show you exactly how to go about setting up your MetaMask wallet, securing it, and then how to actually use it, right? So, and this icon here shows you which blockchain is this particular cryptocurrency is built on. This one is built on the what? The BSC blockchain. In other words, it's built on the Binance Smart Chain blockchain. The website of the wallet of, of, the, of this project, it's right here. You can just click on it and then you'll be taken to the website. And then uh, if you want to check their Twitter page, you can just click on the Twitter page there. If you want to join their Telegram group, you can click on there. And then this is a token. There's a difference between a token and a coin. The, the, the difference is that a token is a cryptocurrency that is built on a different uh, blockchain. In other words, the company, this company, AstroSwap, they do not have their own blockchain. So that's why they built their token on top of the binance smart chain blockchain so it is a token but if you look at bnp which is the binance uh, coin bnp they have their own blockchain bitcoin has its own blockchain ethereum has its own blockchain cardano has its own blockchain so those are coins because they have their own they are built on top of their own blockchains right so now remember that we wanted to check the all-time high and the all-time low price of this one so if you go to the to the to the price and market statistics section here uh, you can go through and read all this information but our um, focus for for this one for now is the all-time high so you can see that this one the all-time high it was 23 cents and that was just 17 hours ago all right and then the all-time low was 17 cents that was 22 hours so now if you wanted to uh, maybe to buy this token what you would want to do is you would have tried to buy it during the time when it was uh, at the low price but now currently as you saw it is uh, around about 22 cents it's approaching its all-time high again so it means that if you are interested it might be a good time to buy but for now you just wanted to see the all-time high and the all-time low 
of this particular project so that you can get an idea as to how high it went and how how low it went and when was that which exchanges is it is it listed on is it listed on binance already to check that information you want to click the market tab and then when you scroll down uh this one here it's only listed on pancake swap for now so in other words in order for for you to be able to buy it and to stake it if it, it is a stakeable cryptocurrency you would have to use the pancake swap exchange to do that so when you click on these currency pay here then it will launch the pancake exchange then you can be able to connect your metamask wallet and be able to trade it so again if you are not familiar with um pancake swap if you are not familiar with um metamask make sure that you check my tutorial videos on how to use these tools so right now i just connected my uh, metamask with the pancake swap pancake swap exchange so right now it's loading the balance that i have on this particular wallet and then from here i can be able to actually buy uh, this astro token by just typing the ticker symbol here if it doesn't pick it up what i can do is i can go back to um coin gecko and then just copy the address the contact address of that particular project that you want to buy so just copy it or you can just click on add and then go to pancake swap and then paste it here right and then by so doing it will pick up the address it might take a bit of time to pick up that a particular cryptocurrency here but once it picks it up then you can be able to to buy it so for this example let me just pick any um crypto let's just say for instance i want to buy some more uh hero tokens for example i can just click on that then i can say i want to buy maybe 10 heroes hero tokens and then i can complete this project but this tutorial is not about that it's about doing a basic research so let me just close this one and then I come back to um coin gecko so now we know that this particular token is listed it's only listed on uh, pancake swap so it, as it, as it gets listed on more and more exchanges that will uh, increase the demand and that will increase the price over time right so now remember that the 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 the, the, the volume will tell us whether this token is in demand or not so the higher the volume the better but if it was less than uh, i would say a minimum of 100 million within the last 24 hours uh but the the supply is this big then that was not going to be a good thing because what you are essentially looking for you are looking for a token with high trading volume in other words with high demand but it should have a, a small supply this one is on the higher uh end of the of the supply because it's 10 billion but um because the volume is there to uh to support it then you might want to uh, dig deep and even do more research to find out more about this cryptocurrency because the demand is there even though the supply is a little bit bigger because um, ideally in personally i would look for uh, the supply that is at least 100 million or less right like for instance if we were to search for let's search for which uh, cryptocurrency let's just search for z for example right for zero swap so if you click on zero swap then i just want to show you the difference right so again this is the price of this uh, token in this case and then look at the maximum supply the maximum supply is only 100 million it's not even 1 billion it's only 100 million and then the total supply is 100 million what is already in circulation is just over 60 million so uh, 40 million of this uh, is going to be released over time maybe through staking and so on and so forth right until the maximum supply is reached but there will never be more than 100 million so i'm just showing you uh, you know comparing these two cryptocurrencies in terms of uh, the supply if you take a look at the trading volume within the last um, 24 hours for zero swap you can see that it's over one uh, billion so the volume is there as well in other words the demand is there and the supply is low right 
again let's go and check to, to see where you would uh, buy it if you wanted to buy it you can see this one is listed on quite a number of exchanges already but it's it's not listed on binance yet it's, it's not listed on coin uh, on coinbase yet so there is still a chance so especially if you're gonna go to their website learn more about them check their or twitter page uh, and then check to see which uh, blockchain is it uh, built on or listed on you can see that uh, this one is on polygon blockchain and also bsc binance smart chain blockchain as well you can buy it uh, from there as well so these these three dots here indicate that this particular token or this particular project is built on on top of a different uh, blockchains so in other words if you are familiar with um BSC, you can just connect your MetaMask wallet and be able to trade this particular cryptocurrency. If you are familiar with Polygon, you can just connect your MetaMask to the Polygon blockchain and be able to uh, trade this particular cryptocurrency. All right. But for now, let's just continue with our research. Now, remember that we also mentioned the fact that you need to check the price action within the last 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days, and so on and so forth. So let's just stick with it with Z for now or zero sub for now. So if you go back to the overview tab and then um, within the last 24 hours, this is the graph that shows us what the price action was like. So you can see that uh, 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 within the last 24 hours, it has been going up. Now, if you want to check the trend over the last uh, seven days, you want to see whether it's an upward trend or a downward trend. In this case, you can see that it is recovering, but you can see it went as high as there about around about 35 cents at some point right but again if you go to the price and market stats you can see that this one actually it went as high as three dollars 24 cents that was six months ago right but at some point it was worth less than five cents that was october 2020 about 11 months uh, as of me recording this video right so it means that if you get a chance to to buy it during the time when it was around about four cents and then you sold it when it was uh, three dollars you would have uh, made uh, quite a bit of profit right so uh, as you can see it does help to stay in touch with the market and uh, research these cryptocurrencies and then see so that you can see and discover some opportunities so you can see that over the last 30 days it has been recovering nicely and it is in my humble opinion it is a, a still a good chance to buy this one because it is showing indications that it is now trying to go back to its all-time high which was three dollars 24 cents and because it has a small supply of just 100 million it has a potential of even hitting five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars and so on and so forth depending on what is the project actually doing right now remember that we also mentioned the fact that you need to be able to visit the website of the project and learn more about it so let's just visit the zero sub uh, website and see what this one is all about right so uh one thing that's that's already you know uh, interesting me is the fact that i can be able to stake it can you see what it says staking so this is a good thing so but you can see that they have different uh projects i mean uh, uh, uh what um uh, features and products for instance that you can stake it they have a bridge they have an, their own exchange so if you go down they tell you exactly what it is how it works if you go down you can see their products right here and then um so this covers the bullet point that said what is the purpose of the project so this will answer that question what are they trying to do what are they trying to achieve on the marketplace and also remember that you want to also to uh to see their roadmap because you want to find out exactly where they started where are they now where are they trying to get to so right now we are in quarter four on uh of the 2020 2021 um year so you can see that they are busy working on these items right now and you can see their strategic partnerships as well they have partnered with big blockchain organizations Aaron, it's a big blockchain organization uh covalent frontier uh, dia and so on and so forth chain link polygon you know these are big big partnerships so uh this is something that you want to see when you are researching a project because the fact that they have partnered with such big organizations means that they mean business you also want to check their uh, twitter page to see how many followers they have the bigger the number of followers they have and the 
uh, the, 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 you know how often they post and update their audience or their followers is also important okay so now on this one you can see that they have uh, just over 53,000 followers on Twitter and uh, you can see some of those um, followers are actually other companies as well and if you scroll down you can see that uh, they post uh, quite often they post quite often uh, even yesterday they posted something so they are up to date they are also updating their followers as well so I would uh, regard this as a good project to, to look at they are a multi-chain decentralized exchange all right okay now remember that we would also like to see who is behind the project you would like to see the team behind the project so uh for zero swap i couldn't find the the, the, the page where i can actually see um uh the, the team that is behind this project maybe it's on the light paper uh if we had time we would look at that um but um even though I can't see their team, it does not mean that that their team is not visible. But let's just go back to the project that we started with. Let's just go back to um, Astro, right? So that we can compare and contrast again. So let's go to their website. Let's also open their Twitter page. How many followers they have? They have over 74,000 uh, followers right now. How often do they, they post? They, they are active. Within the last 20, 24 hours, they posted this update. Within the last 11 hours, and so on and so forth. So they are posting. This is actually a brand new project. So if you really wanted to learn more about them, then you can go to their website. You can see that their staking is coming soon. It has not even started yet, right? They are swiping uh, exchange. It's coming soon. Their lottery feature is coming soon. So this project here, I think it is a good one because you want to get in as early as possible. But because when they announce that they have launched the staking, the price is going to be impacted positively. When they announce that they have now completed and launched their swapping protocol, the price is going to be affected and so on and so forth. So if you go down, you can see that they are powered uh, by this company here and you can see that they are incubated incubated by blue zilla which is a big company on its own right and you can see that they have partnered with um ada pad which is a launch pad you can learn about their tokenomics down here and then um you can learn more about this project right but for now they they do not show us who is behind this project we don't see the team behind this project right so let's just go back and look at another project called hero or meta hero right so let's just go to this one you can see the price of this token you can see the trading volume within the last 24 hours you can see the maximum supply you can see the total supply you can see this uh, circulating supply you can see that they are on the bsc blockchain uh, this is their website link and this is their twitter page and um let's see how many followers they have currently meta hero have over hundred and three thousand followers as of me recording this video they have pinned this post on the 19th of september yesterday they posted this update where when it was listed on the kanga exchange this is the founder founding member of meta hero he is very active right so their twitter page is looking good and healthy let's look at their website this is their beautiful website they are explaining exactly what is it that they are doing so take your time and go through and learn more about the project in this case we are looking at meta hero as an example so they are telling us exactly what is the, is it that they are doing and you can see their social media uh, uh, icons here as well you can visit these social media platforms and they even have a youtube channel let's take a look at it and see how many um subscribers they have they have over 166,000, right let's go back tim now remember with with the previous project that we looked at we couldn't see the team behind those projects but it doesn't mean that they are um, scams right but it, 
the bonus on this one is that we can even see who is behind the project, right? So the founding member is Robert Green. If you go down, you can see the core team behind this project. This is the team behind the Meta Hero project. See how big this team is, right? They are strategic partners. They have partnered with uh, with Wolf Studio, and Wolf St Studio actually partnered with uh, with Sony, which is a big big company when it comes to uh, photographies and um, you know uh, movies and all that good stuff. They have partnered with uh, Tencent, and this is the strategic advisors of Meta Hero. So this is the, the most transparent uh, transparent uh, project. Uh, that we have so far, that we have looked at so far. Now, remember, you might also want to check out their roadmap as well, so you can see that they have been uh, hitting their milestones from the very first quarter of this year. You can see that they have accomplished all of these, so they are now, we are now in quarter three, so they are busy with, um, I mean, sorry, we actually passed quarter three, but you can see that uh, these two items are still outstanding. They haven't done this because they are still negotiating with uh, top tier exchanges to get listed, like for instance, uh, Binance. So if you go back to um, CoinGecko and check the market tab to see where are they listed, which exchanges are they listed on, they are listed on these exchanges, but they are not on Binance yet. They are not on Binance yet, so there is an opportunity here, in my humble opinion, but it's not a financial advice, right? So they have done all of those things, and in quarter four, they are busy with these now. So you can take your time and go through and read. Already, they, are also, they, are, they have also uh, started to prepare for the following year, which is uh, 2022 in this case, as of me recording this video. So again, this is just the basic research, the things that you want to do uh, before you can invest on any cryptocurrency. So you know who else have invested in the project, you know uh, uh, they are big partners, and so on and so forth. And the last thing that we spoke about was the fact that you want to check if you, can, uh, if you can stake that particular cryptocurrency, right? So by the look of things, when it comes to uh, Meta Hero, they do not have staking yet, but you can see that the total supply or the maximum supply is 10 billion, and of that 10 billion, 9.7 billion uh, is the total supply, and of that 9.7 billion, what is in circulation right now is only 4.6 billion, which means that they're still going to release more, uh, maybe through uh, staking. So they might um, launch the, the, their staking very soon, and we, we might be able to stake Meta Hero as well. So um, according to the slides, we have covered all of these uh, bullet points, right? We have um, checked the price of the of the corner token, we checked the trading volume, and we checked the maximum total supply and circulation supply. We checked all-time high and all-time low. We checked which exchanges is it, is it listed on, is it already listed on big exchanges or not, which is, might be a good and a bad thing at the same time. We checked the price action within the last 24 hours, uh, 30 days, and so on and so forth. We did check the websites to see and learn more about the particular project we were um, researching, and we also learned when you visit their website you would have learned the purpose of the project i.e what is it that they are trying to achieve or what problem are they solving or to, uh, um, improving upon who is behind the project is the team visible or not or anonymous check the project word map we did that check the project social media pages how active uh, are they and so on and so forth we did that who else have invested in this project are there any big investors any big partnerships we did take a look at that can you stake that particular cryptocurrency um if you are not familiar with staking i i can also teach you uh, how to do that as well i'm so sorry i apologize that this video is this long i thought it was just going to be around about 10 to 15 minutes long but uh, at the same time i just wanted to make sure that i cover everything that i could possibly can so thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for your attention make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and so that you, you do not lose my future tutorial videos and so on and so forth. My name is Moussa Dajan from Deben, South Africa. I thank you. Let's get this crypto. Bye for now.